Confirmation is a crucial process involved in employee life cycle. Our new confirmation module offers a hassle-free transition from probation to full-time employee. By default, confirmation module is enabled for those onboarded from January 2022. Other users can enable this feature by simply creating a support ticket. As an admin, you must define the reviewers who can approve the employee's confirmation before starting. You can always customize the workflow levels so that an application can go through either one, two or three levels of reviewers. Now let's see how to create the confirmation workflow levels. Navigate to the employee workflow levels page from the workflow setup section and click on add workflow levels to get started. From the select workflow drop-down list, select confirmation. The application reviewer levels form appears. From the select employee filter drop-down list, select the required employee group. In the workflow level name text box, enter the workflow name. Select the application reviewer levels as per your requirement. Under reviewer level 1, select the job role as first reviewer from the approver title drop-down list. When the employee confirmation is due, the application will go to the job roles chosen for approval first. Select the application actions as per your requirements. The reviewers can view and perform the actions on the application based on your selection here. The actions available for a reviewer are Forward, Action View, Confirm and Extend Probation. The Forward option allows the reviewers to forward the application to the next level reviewer. In the Actions View text box, you can enter the number of days the reviewer must take action. If the current reviewer cannot take action within the specified day, the application is automatically forwarded to the next level reviewer. The Confirm option allows the reviewer to confirm the employee. The Extend Probation Period option allows the reviewer to extend the employee probation. Once you select the options as per your requirement, you can set the workflow settings and the workflow auto-initiation date. Click Submit to save the confirmation workflow level settings. Submit workflow level pop-up appears. Click Confirm to save the confirmation workflow level settings. Whenever an employee confirmation is due, the system sends the application to the reviewers for further action item based on the workflow level setup. The reviewers must take action on the application for the confirmation to be effect. Now let's see how managers can view the confirmation workflow request from the ESS portal. Managers can navigate to the review page from the task section and click on confirmation to view all the confirmation workflow requests pending for review. The View Details tab allows the manager to view the details of the application and take action accordingly. Managers can confirm the employee or extend probation period if required by clicking here. Also, the Feedback section will allow them to enter the feedback for employee and the Remarks section for other reviewers to help them make better decisions. Managers can also attach files like performance reports etc. for record keeping and for other reviewers. Finally, click on Submit and Confirm to approve the workflow request. Now let's see how admin can take action on these requests by navigating to the confirmation page from the workflow review section. The page displays the complete list of employees for whom the confirmation workflow is pending action. Click on the employee name and view details such as employee details, confirmation timeline, etc. You can either confirm the employee by clicking here or extending probation. Also, the feedback and the remarks section will allow the admin to share feedback and remarks if required. Use the attach file option to attach any relevant documents. Finally, click on submit button and click on confirm to complete the workflow. Employees can also easily track the confirmation status through the Great HR CSS portal by navigating the employment and jobs page under the view my info section. Click on view confirmation status and click on view details to view the confirmation timeline. With that we come to an end. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to get updates about our upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.